the next several videos on My Shorts Are Wide, I plan to do an expose on white supremacy. Today, we will begin looking at the sexuality of this fascist group in this two-minute episode of My Shorts Are Wide. <laughs> watching a series on Netflix called Web of Make Believe about cybersecurity crimes. As many of you know, I have been reporting cybersecurity breaches on my property. It will be a year in June now with no response or investigation from the Oakland County Sheriff's Department. So I am forced to do some investigation on my own. In the episode from Web of Make Believe, I am not a Nazi. They highlight the experience of one woman in the white supremacist movement. Research. What, what I've, I've concluded from the research is that most of these men are suffering from what I am calling latent homosexual hostilities. And this is the basis for their hate and violence. Don't mistake this for a condition that can be easily treated, although I challenge the pharmaceutical industry to research a drug that can displace the emotional hysteria seen in these particularly disturbed men. In this series of my two-minute shorts, I will investigate how seemingly superior males, based not only on their DNA, but on their present-day entitlements, turn into raging homosexuals who demand not only submissiveness, but sexual submissiveness from women as well as men. Additionally, it is not enough for these men to have women submit, as that for these violent men is relatively easy. Rather, to fulfill their uncontrolled pride, they exhibit a need and desire to have men who are their peers either submit to them or are dominated by these higher ranking white supremacists in sexual ways. This is a true picture of right-winged authoritarianism, which is the area of research that demonstrates this perverse relationship. The anger and confusion because of their traditional Christian way is wrought with hypocrisy, which in turn is creating a walking, talking, psychotic time bomb who may in fact, if we listen to them and let them, take over the world. There are so few women in the movement, there simply isn't room for them. In my next two-minute short, I'll take a look at how latent homosexual hostility plays out in white supremacists that demonstrate the very real lack of desire they have for women, even those women who are part of their movement. This is Dr. Annette Ferovich with the special two-minute short series on white supremacy and how this fascist movement might take over the world, but will have a hard time reproducing like normal men.